my first receipt roll was called 130. It was a 130 foot roll of receipt paper that I typed on. It documented the costs of attending a university as an art student. It was done in 2011. And it included numbers from numerous receipts, uh, as well as poetry and prose and word art. It's really much more akin to what you see on a normal receipt that you would get from a store. But I had bought a pack of them, so I decided to keep using this medium. I did one roll, which was a drawing a day for a year. But I also found myself using them for all sorts of things, and sometimes not even a full roll. I started using them to document various other moments and they became this artwork to me of one long drawing, one receipt of time, of this time that I took in my life. This one is the second in my series of Metro receipts. I did one of the New York City subway to start out. Um, took about a year. And the one you're seeing now is a month on the Sao Paulo Metro. And it's really fun to sketch on the train, actually. <laughs> Each person only really takes a few seconds, and you can see the movement of the train in the lines, which is also sort of encompassing and really magical. It's, it's spawned a lot of conversations. <laughs> a lot of funny looks come my way too. But the people I get to talk to because of it share incredible stories and always have fun scrolling through some of the receipt roll with me. I like it because it reminds me that we're all we're all in it together in one moment in time. It's one drawing, one long subway. People I'll probably never see again. Or maybe some that I will. Some that I'll recognize and some that I won't. But I have this receipt of some sort of interaction between us, and I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs>